Good day, everybody. How are you all? This is Dr. Nandy. Hope you are all doing fine. Today, we are going to talk about inverse trigonometric function. So let me share my computer screen with you. Find the exact value of y. y is equal to sine tangent inverse 13 over 5. So solution. y is equal to sine of tangent inverse 13 over 5. So the let tangent inverse 13 over 5 be an angle which is theta. Okay. So therefore tangent of theta is equal to 13 over 5. So if this is my angle theta this is the right angle triangle, okay? So let me erase this extending portion. Let me draw the diagram again, just to be on the safe side. So this is five and nope, let me first I will make this big. Not that big. No. I will erase this. Erase this. So, back to this. So, let this side, which is perpendicular to this line, this is the right angle triangle. Let this be 13. And I join here to here, and this is the angle theta. Let's call this triangle A, B, C. This angle is theta. So tangent of theta is opposite side by adjacent side is 13 over 5. Mm. Okay, so hypotenuse AC is equal to square root of AB square, which is the opposite side, plus the base BC square. This is B, right? So BC square. So this is equal to square root AB square is 13 square plus 5 square. So hypotenuse, hypotenuse, which is the opposite to the right angle, side opposite to the right angle, is equal to square root of 169 plus 25, which is square root of 194. Why do I need to do that? As you will soon see, So our given function is, uh, or what we have to find out is y is equal to sine of theta. Okay. The sine theta, sine theta from definition is opposite side by hypotenuse. Now opposite side is AB, by divided by hypotenuse AC. Now AB is 13 and the hypotenuse AC just we found out is square root of 194. So therefore Y is equal to 13 over square root of 194, which we can rationalize a little bit. Uh, let's move it up a little bit. So, y is therefore equal to 13 
and we will multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 194. So this becomes 13 and square root of 194 divided by square right root of 194 square which is 13 square root of 194 divided by 194. So this is your final answer for y which is sine of theta. Okay. I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, you can write me a note, but let me summarize what I did. So first I, uh, first I defined tangent inverse 13 over five. The inverse means an angle as theta. So tangent of theta is 13 over five. Tangent inverse 13 over five is theta. So tangent of theta is 13 over five. Now, definition of ta tangent of theta is opposite side by adjacent side. So, 13 is side AB and the adjacent side is BC. So, it's 13 over 5. Okay. So, the opposite side is 13, adjacent side is 5. So, the hypotenuse is square root of AB square. Opposite side square plus adjacent side square is 13 square plus 5 square, which is square root of 169 plus 25 square root of 194. So maybe I should uh, write uh, this one over here. There's, this now becomes square root of 194. Okay. So what is the definition of sine theta? Because I have to find y equal to sine theta. So sine theta is opposite by hypotenuse of 13 over square root of 194, which I then rationalized by removing the square root from the denominator by multiplying the numerator and denominator by the same square root of 194. So we get 13 times square root of 194 in the numerator and square root of 194 square in the denominator, which is 194. So the final answer for y, which is sine of theta, is 13 square root of 194 divided by 194. I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends. I come back every week with new problem, new solution. Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.